Hey Jules Community, ITFC 101 here yet again bringing you some more Magic 2012 and I've got a little bit of a story to tell you um, a few weeks ago WMG did their um, did their magic a -thon, I think was that what it was called, they did 14 days consecutively of Magic and that was really good to watch and they did one they did one day of where they put all 90 cards into a deck, I think they called it the Nasty 90 and I was, I was a bit upset when I saw that because um, I actually had that idea myself for a series to do and I get put it off and off and I guess I got punished for it but I still do want to do it, I'm going to call it the Naughty 90 because that's the name I thought of, the Naughty 90 and um, I'm not taking any credit for thinking of this idea um, I did have the idea before MG, WMG had done their idea but I'm not saying I'm copying I hope I'm not copying and I just need to put that out there first but I think it's a pretty cool cool idea to see if you can win with 90 cards in your deck and I'm going to go and give that a go now and I'm going to start with Vampires um, I'm going to do my favourite deck first Vampires is probably my favourite deck and it's probably the strongest so you know I'm going to start off with probably what's going to be the easiest because there's not many bad cards we've got Tormented Souls there they're good for activating blood first Vampire Bite I used to run two of them so I'm, I'm fine for that to go in there of course Demon's Horns not really um, I don't run life gain artifacts. The bad I've been meaning to take out all four, I was just trying something with them, but Ruthless Cold Blade, bad card. Vicious Hunger, Brony. Um, Blood Rage Vampire, another bad card. The other Bite and Blood, Sangue Vampire, Stalking Blood Sucker, Malak Blood Blood uh, <laughs> Butcher of Malakir. I, I, I always want to run this card, but I always think it's set it's seven cost a five four fly, I'm not gonna get it out. So, and then repaying card, which I think may be the worst card in the format. I'm not sure yet. A seven cost to make each player's life total becomes the lowest. I mean, hopefully I won't draw that. But anyway, we're going to play the whole 90 once again. I'm not copying out WMG. I really enjoyed their idea. And it's just something I'm going to want to do. I'm going to bring all these to Jules Community. I won't be doing any of these on my channel unless my subscribers say they want to see some of it. But I'm going to do some more different things on my channel. So let's jump into a game. And um, probably should do ranked match, but it doesn't matter about ranking because I, I haven't played enough to be honest. If you ever see my ranking, um, I, d I don't play enough. I'm away most of the week, as I mentioned in my last video on George Community. I'm away. I'm only at home the ma um, Friday and Saturday. Sunday I go back, so that's the only time when I'm on Xbox. So my ranking won't be as good. But we're just waiting for a game here. See how this naughty 90 can work. Um, but yeah, Jules Community, thanks to Laser again for letting me post. I forgot to say at the start, which I normally do. But um, thanks, um, the, the content being, that's been going up has been really great. I mean, me, um, Laser, Dosho, and Major X. Hopefully, he seems some more Dosho soon. I know he had Thanksgiving, so I guess he can be understood. And we have a game here. Um, just wait for him to ready up. There we go. Let's go. So, we've got 90 cards. Of course, we can't expect to have an absolute nuts draw, but we can we can see what happens do, 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 do. and I can't wait for the new DLC by the way um, this is a, this is actually not bad <laughs> I got quag I got this guy if I draw one more land two more lands would be perfect he plays first I'm gonna keep it um, that's, that's a pretty okay hand I guess I can get th this guy turn one this guy turn two and then if I draw the land this guy turn three and then Bow and Bow might not be played this turn. Okay, he's playing black as well, so that's great for my Demon's Horn. Um, he's got one drop as well, so is he playing the zombie deck? Okay, I'm not... Uh, he might... There's the land that we wanted. He might have Quag and um, is holding off. He could easily be playing zombies as well. Um, I mean, not zombies, vampires. Because I had um, Blood Hunger on my match, I guess it didn't come up with a little X in the matchmaking screen. So I'm guessing that he is playing vampires, and he, he's got a card to play, so I don't know what he's doing, I don't know whether he's holding off. Another demon's horn, well... I'll play that second main phase. I don't know, I'm trying to learn to play everything second main phase. As I said before in my opening magic videos, I'm a, I'm a relatively new magic player, I've only playing towards the end of the old magic game. This has been my first proper full magic game. And I think I've come on leaps and bounds. He missed the third land drop. Wow. And he was running 60 cards as well. So <laughs> um, I'll wait and I'll, I'll do that so I get the maximum benefit out of when I play the guys. I'll be able to get my Bloodthirst on because, of course, Quag Vampire has Swamp Walk. 
so I'll be able to get through because of course he has swamps so I'll be able to get this guy out next turn and he'll be a 4-2 and then also this guy and that'll be a 2-2 two -two. Um, he's got his hit land drop 3 but st he still hasn't got anything to play uh, his cards in his hand must be absolutely insane another one of them guys okay so we're going to swing in again I know it isn't much damage one per turn but we're now about to get some 4-2s out there I gained two life as well because of the demon's horn. I guess does he not know what that card does because no one runs it, but I don't know. Hopefully he hasn't hit land drop four, he hasn't. Okay. He is playing the zombie deck. So there's a vanilla 3-2, I would not recommend running that card. We've got another land now, so I'm just gonna swing in with my 1-1. One -one. And um I'm not sure what card to play, either the bat or the n another 4 2. I'm not called a bat. I guess Sangromancer. I guess I, do I guess I play Sangromancer here. Oh wow, does he really not know the vampire deck? I mean, come on, Sangromancer's got to be in everyone's, in everyone's vampire deck. I mean, it's such a good card. Okay, <laughs> go for the throw. He's killing Sangromancer right now. Luckily, I do gain two life for the go for the throw. But let's see if he swings in here. Nope, he don't want to trade. Um, Child and I, so I can play the bat and Child and Knight this turn. I'm um, gaining four more life. I'm gaining life for absolute days. I guess it's pretty lucky that I, with vampires, I run into a guy playing a black deck. So I, so my, and I drew two demons horns. So I'm literally every black spell I'm gaining two life. So. Hopefully he's missed Lamb Drop 4 again. No, there it is. So he's now coming up to his very good cards. There's another go for the throw. So he's going to kill the bat. He's still got six cards in hand. He can't swing in because I'll just chump with um, Child and I. The Vampire Aristocrat is pretty nice. Um, I'm going to swing in with these two. Because if he wants to trade, then he can trade. If not, I can get three for four damage. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy for him to trade there. Cause I've just got another one for you. <laughs> so that worked. I think that worked out well for me. I could have held back and played it anyway, but um, as he drew another land, he has a so land drop five is pretty big. Okay, so he's going to kill my four. T oh, no, he's going to kill my one one. So I can't get constant damage through now. And he gets that guy back out of his graveyard. But I'm swinging in for six here this turn. He's getting two life. There's Batman. I do not have the land for that though. So I'm just playing Aristocrat this turn. Still need a couple more lands for Batman. I haven't drawn that much land. I started with two. And I've only drawn two, which is disappointing. But just play Aristocrat. He's down to eight. I'm at 42. It's going to take a major swing. Um, he does have seven cards in hand though. So he must have something. There's land drop six. There's that guy again. Is that all he's got? Nope. Okay. That's a good card. First strike and regenerate. A kill card would be nice. A vicious hunger. I haven't had a kill card all game. Just land. Um, so I can't even really swing in here. <laughs> um, I don't think I can swing in. I could barter in blood. I think barter in blood is the play actually. Um, let me just think. If I swing in with it with everybody, sacrifice these two for Vampire Aristocrat, but then I have to sack him next turn. Um, this guy has first strike, so he'll just kill my child and I or Ruthless Cold Blade. Oh no, Blood Rage Vampire. Sorry. Um, I guess I just barter in blood, um, and then I'll have a creature left. He won't. And then I'll get rid of him and him. Play the land, and then I can swing in for two. He's down to six. I'm not sure if that was the play or not. I could have took him down to four if I'd have got rid of Aristocrat, but I think Aristocrat would, is going to be more helpful in the long term. Um, he is at land up six, so I need to get this game finished soon. Okay, that's Zombie Goliath. That's a 5, a 4-3, sorry, that's even worse than I thought it was. 4-3 vanilla, 
And I'd like to draw corrupt, please. Oh no, I haven't even got the land. <laughs> Actually, you noob. But anyway, I um, I just guess I just play Nighthawk, then pass the turn. Can't do anything. Luckily, I got 52 life. If I was at 20, I would be kind of worried. But he needs to get a fly or something. Okay, he's gonna kill Nighthawk, and he's gonna get a zombie out of his graveyard again. So this is going really well for him. I probably should. I should have sat. Oh shit, that's a mistake. I should have sacked um, Nighthawk there with Aristocrat. That was a mistake by me, then he wouldn't have got a creature out of his graveyard, and now he's going to go get two zombies back. So I'm starting to get worried here. Um, he's just I am starting to get worried, but he's not swinging in there, because, of course. Okay, that guy is a, is a get does get plus two, plus one. So, he is a 4-2. I'm starting to get a little bit worried, not going to lie, maybe that Barton Blood was a mistake. He still has six cards in hand. You know, he's at land drop seven. If he's got Army of the Dead in hand, then I am in trouble. <laughs> I know I've got 60 life, but I'm still going to be in trouble. Right. <laughs> I'm a bit worried now. This could be a bit embarrassing. Is he going to swing in? I won't trade because I've got 62 life. There's no point in me trading. Well, there's the land, so the corrupt could work. Um, but I still, I can, oh, I've got Batman, okay, let's try, I forgot about Batman. Do I get two life for each bat being played? That'd be pretty nice. No, okay. So, I can take him down to one next turn, if he doesn't kill any of my flyers or play a fly himself. And if he does play Army of the Dead, I'm not too upset. I know he gets 13 two twos, but, okay, that's fine. Oh, we got another one of them guys. That is pretty good for him. Although he does need flyers, of course. He can't swing in, obviously. He's only at six life. Unless he's deciding to give... Is he, is he giving up? What What could he have here? I'm going to let it through because I'm at 66 life. But... I guess he was just hoping he could regen something, kill one of my creatures. But I'm at so much life, it's it's a little bit ridiculous. Um, Captivate and Vampire, these are bats, so that it doesn't get the effect. So that's a bit a bit unfortunate. Um, so I, oh, it does work on Skeletal Vampire. Oh, excellent. Oh, okay, sir. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Oh, if I lose now, I'm going to be so mad. I didn't know it was my attack step. I could have won now. I could have swung in for six. Oh god, what's that? First strike, that's fine. Oh my god, if that's cost me, if he's got to go for the throat in hand, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> I didn't know it was my attack step, so so if he doesn't ever go for the throat, it's game over. And he doesn't, so oh, what, what's he doing? What did he do? I don't know what he did there, but <laughs> anyway, that's the first episode of the Naughty Nighty. Hope you enjoyed. Leave your comments if you want want me to continue this series. Um, it's got 14 minutes, so I think I can sneak under the 15-minute time limit for Jules Community. So hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next Jules video. Bye, guys.